Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon. Today, I would like to present on our conceptual paper, which is a technological, organizational, and environmental tool framework in industry for adoption among SMEs in Malaysia. So, uh, on the note that this is a conceptual paper, so it is an early outlook. Okay, um, my name is Mira Kiarubari Bantu Muhammad. My, uh, the second author for this paper is Professor Dr. Sheikh Jamal Abdul Nasir bin Sheikh Muhammad and the third co-author for this paper is Associate, Associate Professor Dr. Nozana Matno. Okay, uh, as we know, SME is definitely an important growth engine for Malaysia. And advanced countries like Japan, Korea and Taiwan, they have SME contributed more than half of the, their GDP. In Malaysia, the, our SME contribute more than one third of our economy in 2017. Uh, GDP contributions of SME increased further uh, to 37.1% from 36.6% in the previous year. And also the SME employment also grew to overall employment at 66% and increased from 65.3% in 2016. And in this digital era, we want the small enterprises to embark on using digital technologies, at least a cloud-based service or a point-of-sale system, which will enable them to store customer data and do analysis. Industry 4 has opened the possibility to produce personalized products in a larger volume, so that the consequently, as a result, uh, the, these small enterprises can make a larger profit. According to Morer, uh, in his study 2017, he believes that industry 4 allows the industry allows the transformation of modern economies to become innovative and increase productivity. They also expect that the impact of industry 4 will be profound and much more rapid than the previous two generations. Swap in 2016 also confirmed that in the fourth industrial revolution, the social impact of technological changes on the economy, sector, labor market, production, and innovation is better understood now than the, during the previous relation industrial revolution. However, a survey conducted by Ministry of Trade and Industry in 2017, they have found that uh, the small and medium-sized enterprise have used a very low digital adoption, which is lower than 20% which means that manufacturing firms use little automation, meaning that most enterprises use fewer than 15% of automation. And Niti also explained that although most large manufacturing companies anticipate the risk and return of industry fall, Malaysian SMEs seem cautious and worry about taking the step, while many of them remain unaware and refuse to be risk takers, and most of them also insufficient of innovativeness and they are not ready for competitions, according to a uh, study conducted by Ismail and Zakaria in 2018. While Razi and Wahab in 2017 conclude in their study that due to technology incompetence among Malaysian SMEs, it has caused them to produce a low performance in business. Com company survival rate, especially SME, is very low and very alarming, according to uh, many studies that have conducted on SMEs in Malaysia. Indeed, by looking at the reality of Malaysia, the failure rate is at, at 30, uh, 60% and demands absolute uh, attention from the authority, according to Rahman Yaakob and Razi in 2016. As affirmed by Arasti, Zandi and Mahmani in 2014, one of the reasons contribute to SME high rates of failure is when their product has not been expanded and their quality is retained. So these are among the problems that have been going on uh, among SMEs in Malaysia. So quantitative method is chosen in collecting the primary data on which survey questionnaire will be carried out and SPSS version 22 is used to analyze data collected. The target population is SMEs in Malaysia and the list that consists of the name of the SMEs will be derived from SME Corporation website that has been updated until 2017. And the certified sampling will be used for this uh, survey. The appropriate respondents will comprise of the owner, director or manager at each of these SME. And they are chosen because they are the key persons in the company and their position makes it possible for them 
to address contact issues related to company strategy and adoption. And then the person's coefficients and multiple linear regression analysis is used to test for the existence of a relationship between the independent variables and also the dependent variable. Uh, descriptive analysis is used to identify the profile of the respondents. And data will be monitored for reliability tests in order to indicate the correlations of each item. According to Josh and Mallory in 2003, uh, 2003, only the score 7.0 and above will be selected for the purpose of this research. So in the past, two framework has been adopted by researchers to explore at an organization level a wide variety of innovations and technological readiness concept. And previous study also has used stored in the analysis for adoptions of various information systems related to subject and technological innovations, including e-commerce, online retail, uh, e-business, and also ERP, enterprise resource planning. In many information system studies, the theories of thumb and toe are specifically aimed at accepting technology and most popularly explain the end-user adoption at organization uh, level, according to Awa Okoha and Amishika in 2016. So, uh, uh, there are three elements in tow which are technological, organization, and also environmental. So, the technological contact refers to the internal and external technologies which are relevant to the firm. And decisions to adopt technology innovations are determined by what is existing and innovation will fit with the existing technology landscape. And the frequently used constructs for this uh, element, technology elements, are relative advantage, complexity, and compatibility. These are three uh, constructs that mostly used by the previous researchers. Relative advantage defined as the degree to which an innovation is perceived as being better than the idea before, with much more being improvised. While the complexity uh, describes the degree to which an innovation is perceived as difficult to understand and to use, where compatibility is the degree to which an innovation is deemed to be reconcilable with existing value, experience of past year, and adoptive needs. According to a previous research study conducted by Salim Houdin, Raza Ismail Fazil and Baker in 2019, they have found out that technological adoption is positively associated with cloud computing adoption in Malaysia SMEs. This is a study uh, conducted in Malaysia among the SMEs, but the contact is in cloud computing um, technology. The second element, which is organizational, it refers to the to resources owned by a firm, include the infrastructure of the organization using the construct top management support and also the firm size. The influence of top management acts as an change agent in the decision process. So decisions could be positive or negative to the adoption. The positive decisions by top management will create full support to the adoption process, which will lead to the project implementation process success. While the organizational readiness represents the internal IT maturity for new innovations uh, implementation, the availability of financial, human, and technical readiness should be adequate with the related of new innovations that will be implemented by the organization, according to Yusuf and Arisfin in 2016. So, um, many studies have confirmed that SME could face some troubles in implementing new strategy because they have a very limited resources in, in terms of the sort of worker skills in terms of the uh, budget and also in terms of the technology that they are currently available in their enterprise. The third characteristic which is environmental, it, uh, it refers to the environment in which the agency or the organizations run its business that may contribute in creating the need for an ability to adopt and implement the, the IR 4.0 technology. So many studies have emphasized the importance of this environmental factor to the adoptions of IT innovation, information technology innovations, which uh, uh, according to studies by uh, Al Shamila and Papa Genius in 2013 and also in Lean 2013, they have confirmed that the environmental factor is very important when it comes to uh, 
when it comes to adopting a new technology innovation. There's also a body of research showing that the, the existence, assistance, the, the assistance of external IT experts, consultants and vendors and their quality are some of the most important aspects of the information technology implementations among organizations according to Goblahu and Tech in 2015. So these are the framework uh, adopted from Tonaski and Fleshe in 1990, which have three uh, uh, independent variables, technological, organizational, and environmental. And for this study, the dependent variable is the adoption of Industry 4.0. So as you can see, the technological, they have a three contexts which are related to advantage, compatibility, and perceived risk, uh, while organizational have two uh, Context which are top management sports and organizational readiness, while the environment has uh, government regulatory and vendor support. And these uh, elements, context from these uh, three independent variables, are among uh, among the famously used by the previous studies. So this paper is a conceptual in nature with a view to achieve its research objective. So the ongoing technological innovations demand for permanent validations of existing frameworks and continued empirical research work. As long as new technologies and new concepts for adoptions are developed, the TOR framework is significant in providing researchers with a comprehensive understanding and perspective on technology adoptions. So since the numbers of study in on adoptions 4.0 are rising nowadays, it is important to focus on its adoption strategy uh, by using a different adoption theories and that could contribute to the development of small business technology. Since this is only a conceptual paper, researchers recommend future research to conduct an empirical study using this framework for further validations of these three variables. Thank you.